Over the past few weeks, Bakersfield has seen a string of window vandalisms, with blame being pointed at the homeless population. But is there more to this story? Is there more than one side to this story? 17's Eliana Capian joins us in downtown Bakersfield with more. Good morning, Eliana. Good morning, Alex. Yeah, with the overpopulation of the homelessness increasing here in Bakersfield, many can be seen laying in front of business storefronts like this one. But recently, downtown businesses have seen an increase in window vandalism, making many question, is this a homeless issue or a deeper problem? Robert Pear with Bakersfield Police Department says vandalism is an ongoing issue citywide. Over the past five days, we've received 25 reports of vandalism, but that is not just to the downtown area that is throughout the city of Bakersfield. Earlier this month, an all too familiar scene, a rash of window damage in the downtown business area. Mark Vanderen was arrested and charged with six offenses of felony vandalism. The damage estimated at over $7,000. Roscoe Rolnick owns Guarantee Shoe Center in downtown. I've had more broken glass and broken windows in the last eight months than I have in 68 years of business. Rolnick says although he has seen the homeless population skyrocket, that's not the issue. Problem is the people who have mental issues. The state and other loca locality municipalities have eliminated all the health care facilities for these people. BPD says there's more to it than that. Sometimes it's a mental health issue, sometimes it's destruction for destruction's sake, or sometimes it's uh, got more nefarious reasons like an attempt burglary. Just blocks away in East Chester, the building owned by Stephen Harris suffered smoke damage after a fire in the business next door, causing his tenants to close and go out of business. What's going on in my situation is not, has nothing to do with mental capacity. It's a hardcore criminal element that's just running around these streets creating havoc. What I've been trying to do is restore the building, but it's almost impossible to do because I'm getting uh, break-ins every night. Homeless people coming in, uh, vandalizing, and uh, I can't keep them out. We. We board up the windows and doors. They just rip the, the boards off. Uh, they have no fear, no fear of the police. Harris says the police rarely come out unless they happen to be passing by and catching someone in the act. Typically, they tell him to call code enforcement. Harris says this has been an ongoing issue for the past month, with the last break-in happening Thursday night. The city needs to just make a stand. At some point, you know, this is really a war against... Uh, competing civil rights and really does a person's property rights have any any meaning or value at all or are the city politicians here just going to cede surrender entire areas and just allow lawlessness Harris says he doesn't blame the police for this but hopes his message is a call to action for the city politician this is a political situation the city leaders here are not doing their job. It's, it's uh, unconscionable that they would surrender sections of a, of a city in which the area is trying to undergo redevelopment. Councilman Andre Gonzalez responded with a statement saying, quote, I understand that many downtown business owners and property owners are frustrated with vandalism. Frankly, I'm frustrated too. I've worked day and night alongside my colleagues on the council, city staff, BPD, and downtown stakeholders to respond to issues in downtown Bakersfield. Now for a look at that full statement, you could head to KGET.com. In Bakersfield, Ileana Capellan, 17 News.